Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will study about something that a lot of you might have been thinking or questioning and that is addressing. Addressing is a way to represent IO so that our PLC can understand it. This is something that I have told you but today we will dive a bit deeper. When we talk about addressing we have four types. Input addressing, output addressing, memory addressing and register addressing. Addressing depends on the data type, like bool takes 1 bit, int takes 16 bits, word takes 16 bit, double int, double word, and real takes 32 bits, where bool means binary, int, word, double int, double word, and real these all are for registers where we can save all the analog values. Input addressing, we have 8 bits in a single channel. From I0.0 .0 to I0.7 then the next channel starts from I1.0 to I1.7 and so on for other channels. Similarly, we have output addressing. Memory addressing. Here we have 8 bit in one channel just like input and output addressing. Memories are used to hold or store the state of IOS. Memories can't be used physically but we can use them in our logic. For register addressing we have. Register like, MW0, MW2. Here MW0 and MW1 are used together to get a 16-bit register. And, MD0, MD4. Here MD0, MD1, MD2 and MD3 are used together to get a 32-bit register. Now let's study more about the instructions in Siemens PLC that we can use to create logic. If we click on catalog we get a list, on top of the list, we have bit logic when we click on it we get a list of instructions like normally open, normally closed contact, inversion instruction, output coil, and when you click on any instruction you can see details about it in the bottom left corner. Today the first instruction that we will study is midline output. Look at the instruction that looks like a coil with hashtag in between. Do you remember I told you that we can't use outputs in series however we can use midline output in series. Let's try to use it to understand it better. I have a basic latch made that turns on the indicator when the push button is pressed. If we simulate it we can see that now we can turn on the start light and indicator and both are connected in series. This helps us to decrease the size of our PLC program. Next in the list we have reset and set instructions. They are similar to latching and unlatching. Note if you have used set instructions make sure to use a reset instruction to turn that output off. Here I have an example of what I have just said. When we press the push button the output is latched and when we press the stop push button the output is unlatched. Moving forward we have RS and SR instruction. It is similar to the set and reset flip flop. There is one thing important in these two instructions in the case of RS, priority is given to set and in the case of SR, priority is given to reset. To make it more clear I have added both of these instructions in a separate network. In the case of SR, if at any moment I am resetting the output is off even if the set is true as it prioritizes reset over the set and the opposite can be seen in the case of RS. Note that I have given M0.0 and M0.1 to the SR, and R's, block you can also use the output address for the block address it won't affect the working of the logic. Next, we have negative and positive edge detection. If we connect these to any input we can capture the falling or rising edge of the pulse we will use them with counters as it will make more sense with them. Still, I have a network to demonstrate it working. I have normally open contact with a positive edge detection connected in series and an output. So when I close the contact the output is not turning on as only a single pulse is transferred. However, if I replace the output coil with a set instruction it turns on. Last but not least we have addressed positive and negative edge detection. It is similar to the instruction we have just discussed however it's in form of a block so we need to give two addresses to it one for memory and the other for contact. Whenever the contact is closed it gives a pulse. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.